hey guys welcome to this video and today in this video we're going to be continuing with our API gateway and in our last video we added this helmet middleware and that just adds some extra security for our API gateway now in this video we are going to be adding a load balancing strategy so basically for our instances that we have running in our API gateway so let me go open this registry.json file so as we know we can have multiple instances of this running and whenever an API call is made to the gateway we want to be able to iterate through those instances so we're going to do this by adding a load balancing strategy the strategy we're going to add is just round robin so it's just basically start at the first index go to the second go to the third all the way up until it gets to the end and it's going to restart at the first index and then keep going like that. This is the pretty much the most simple load balancing strategy, but the way we're going to implement it will allow you to add more strategies and you can just add them in in a very simple way and you can implement pretty much any strategy you want to do and it will work with what how we're going to set this up. So the first thing we need to do is in this registry.json file, we have our registry test and this is our service. So it's just an API and we in here, we just have a list of instances. But the way we need to do this is we need to take this instance, the, this list of instances, and we need to have it as like a subheader of this registry test. So instead of just having registry test, I mean, instead of registry test just being a list, we can come in here and we can um, take this list. Then we can move it over. And then in here, we're going to make this be instances. Also, we need to change this registry test to actually be an object now. So now we change pretty much the square brackets to these curly braces and now this registry test is now a json object so now inside of this json object we have our instances which is still that list of instances so inside of here i'm going to place this above the instances we're going to need the index so this index is pretty much where we are in our load balancing strategy so we're going to start off at the zero index and then we're going to work our way one two all the way up to however many indexes we have and then it's going to restart at zero so we'll just start it off at zero and now we have our index and our instances so this is how we're going to basically check and see what index we're on then go to the next one all right, so from here, this is pretty much all we need to do to our registry.json to get it set up for this. All right, so now we're just going to create a new file, a new JS file, and it's going to be where we have our load balancing logic at. So I'm just going to create, actually, I'm gonna create a new folder, and this is gonna be called util. And then I'm going to make a new file in that folder, and we're going to call this load balancer.js. All right. So now in here, there's this load balancer.js file. And in here is where we're going to have our load balancing logic. So let's go ahead and create a new object called load balancer. And it's just going to be an empty object. And then we're going to export this. So we're going to say module.exports. And then we're going to pass in the load balancer. All right. So now this object will be exported from this file. So we can use the requires in our index.js where this will be used. So inside of here, we just want to create the round robin function that's going to handle all the logic for the round robin so we're going to say load balancer dot round robin 
and then we're going to set this equal to an arrow function and we're going to pass in the service that we want to use in this uh, that we want to load balance pretty much so the service is pretty much this registry test object so we're going to pass in this entire object and then we're going to just um, do the load balancing from there so inside of here when we get that object we just need to pretty much increment the index so we're going to set a new index and then in here we're going to increment our our index in the service and then see if it's um, greater than the length of the instances and if it is then we're going to return zero otherwise we'll just increment it so let me show you how this will work so we're going to say plus plus service dot index so this is getting our index now and then we're going to say if this is greater than not zero if this is greater than service dot instances dot length actually you need greater than or equal to so if it's greater than or equal to the service dot length then we're going to return zero otherwise we're going to return service dot index all right so we're incrementing the service i mean we're incrementing the index then we're seeing if that it once it's incremented we're seeing if that is longer than the instances dot length that means we need to go back to zero so we're going to set it to zero or if that's not true then we'll just leave it as is service dot index so now we take this new index and then we're going to say service dot index equals new index and then we're going to say return new index all right so this is going to be our pretty much our round robin function so basically all this is really doing is um incrementing the index all right so now from here our load balancer is pretty much done at least for this round robin um as i was saying earlier this will be an easy way for you to add any others because say if you wanted to do um an algorithm for um say least used or something so you would just type in load balancer dot and then you just name it whatever you want least use is what i'm going to name it and then you pass in that service and then inside of here you can put whatever logic you want so you can do this as many times as you want to in this load balancer um file and you could just have a bunch of functions that have um load balancer logic in it and then once we get back to our index.js file here we can see how we can use these functions here in this file so we have our path here so this is whenever we get a real pretty much like forwarded request to the gateway this is where we want to do our load balancing so once we get in here i'm going to actually not um log this anymore but once we get in here we just need to see first if this exists so if it exists then we're good to go before that i'm going to actually take this and i'm going to put this into a another um variable so because we're going to need to make multiple calls to this so all right so let me make a quick variable here so it's going to be called what is it service so we got the service now so we're going to say if service so once we get inside of this if statement we're going to need to implement our logic for the load balancing so the way we're going to do this is we're going to run the load balancing function and when the new index comes out we're going to use that index to get the url that we want so we're going to say const new index and then we're going to take that load balancer function so load balancer 
and as you can see it added it up here for me so I don't have to type that in just require that load balancer um, JavaScript file and then you can use the functions so I'm going to call whatever this services load balance function is so we're gonna say service dot load balance strategy and we actually haven't created this yet so let me go back over here this is one thing I forgot to do so just go back to your registry.json file and add it in here at the beginning load balancer strategy and then we're using round robin all right so if you add that in there then now we can uh, just use that so now we're going to say load balancer and then we're going to call that load balance strategy which is in here it's called round robin so see we set in our registry.json that we're using round robin and then in our load balancer we have a function called round robin and in our index.js we're going to say we're going to call that load balance strategy for the load balancer so this is actually calling a function which means that we can do our parameters and pass in service because that's what this takes all right so we're calling this function and we're going to get our index out of it so once we get our index out of here we can go ahead and get our URL so we're going to say const URL and this is going to be service dot instances and then we're going to pass in new index dot URL so this is going to get the URL from whatever instance that we're calling from this new um, this new index so once we get down here we can just literally erase all of that and then we can just get URL here so now this should allow us to load balance our instances so for us to test this we're going to need to go to our registry.json file we're going to need to add another instance at least at the very least we need at least two instances so we're going to throw this second instance down here and I'm going to change it to 3001 just so we can tell the difference all right so now that we have that second instance let's go back to our index.js file and before we make the axios call let's just console.log the URL so now we'll know if we're actually calling the URLs um, in order alright so let's um, try to run this so we're going to say npm run dev to start up our gateway server alright and then now we just need to make the call to our our route here so according to the registry.json we're going to be using this registry test so let's go back to here so we can look at it as we're doing it. so I'm just going to use curl again I'm going to say HTTP localhost 3000 and then we're going to pass in our API name which is registry test and then I'm just gonna do something here because I just have to say hello because um, we're not actually making the call we just want to make sure that this is working so because this um, I'm not even running the fake API server so this isn't going to work all right let me see what happened here I should at least get yeah here we go so we see 3001 um, maybe I need to let me yeah let me catch these errors really fast so I'm gonna do that catch and then we're gonna have an error all right
So as we can see, we are actually going through our instances and it's looping through. So like over here, we can see it's going 3001, 3002, and it's going back and forth. So this pretty much handles what we wanted. So there is some cleanup that we need to do, but I think I'll stop the video here. Um, in the next video, we will clean this up and handle some of the edge cases and some some other things that we need to handle for this to work um, flawlessly. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.